What is up, my camera crew? We are back here doing another tutorial on the new and the great DaVinci Resolve 18. And if you guys are new to this channel, my name is Sam Aldrich, aka Sam the Cameraman. And if you haven't become a part of the camera crew, make sure y'all subscribe, smash the like on this video, hit your bell notification. You don't want to miss out on any of the cool new things that DaVinci Resolve has to offer or any new cool camera stuff that uh, you know we might be covering in the future here or just anything. Let's go over today one of the coolest new features that DaVinci Resolve 18 has to offer. Let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and let's go over this new feature. So you can see right here in my timeline, I already have my footage and this new feature is gonna be called the depth map and it uh, is super powerful. So let's hop into the color page. This is where all this is going to be done. And we can see we have our first note up here. We have just our basic color page. We want to make sure our open effects panel is open. So you just do that by hitting effects and let's type in depth. And as you can see, the depth map pops up. We want to drag and we want to just drop this in to the node area. We don't want to put it on a node. We want it to create its own node. So to connect this to this pipeline, you can either disconnect and connect or you hold shift, grab the node. And when it turns yellow, just release. And there we go. And as you can see right away, this uh, creates your like almost an alpha channel, like an alpha mat, or like, as we can kind of tell, like a 3D depth map. But we are going to do some adjustments. First thing we want to do is we want to connect the alpha output to the first alpha output on the depth map node. And from there, we can uncheck this preview and we can check it. This is how you're going to see like your final product. And I'll show you that in a minute but we're gonna keep it checked for now. And we want to check the resulting map adjustments. This is gonna allow us to fine tune and, and um, decide what we want to uh, select. And we want to check isolate specific depth and map finesse. This is where things get crazy here. We hit this, check this out. And instantly like her hair is defined, the glasses, I mean this, like this post processing, I don't know what the heck this uh, crazy, you know, it's black magic. That's what it is. But uh, no, it's really crazy. The power that this thing has is unreal. So we can now come back up. We want to make sure the uh, right now our girl is selected. So as we know, black is unselected. White will be selected. And whatever's white it will be left over and whatever's black is what's being like taken away. So we want to just play with these uh, limiters, the far limit. We want to keep that probably right there. Let's bring this back, get her under where we would want it. It's going to just take some finessing. And this, uh, unfortunately, if you don't have a powerful computer, you're going to have to be patient with your adjustments because this is pretty taxing on the system. However, it is uh, worth every second of the patience that it takes. So we want to go like that. Let's take that far limiter down. Okay, that's looking really good. And for what I just did, I uh, just came to a further frame in the in the sequence. This target depth is going to kind of like pick and choose, but we want to make sure, kind of like where it was, reset it. And then tolerance, you can play with that. This is going to kind of help you fine tune it again. All of these just kind of help fine tune your selection. Um, matte finesse, you can kind of blur your edges if you want. We don't need to do that though. Um, expand, contract, I'm happy with where it's at. So now if we hit the depth map preview. All right, so now that we have our selection done, we want to hit Alt S and that is going to create another node. But we want to hit the alpha channel or we want to hit the alpha output from here and connect it to that node. And what that's going to do is just take the information from this depth map and connect it to this node. So now if we hit it, we can pump our saturation all the way up. And as we can see, it's going to make her more saturated. We can add some more warmth if we wanted to add more warmth. That's obviously an exaggerated amount. We don't need to do that. But this is where things get really crazy with this. So if we want to just delete this node, let's completely delete it. Let's add an alpha output. It created a cutout. 
So, I mean, this isn't perfect right here. We could take more time and finesse and get rid of the white around here. And right then and there, I mean, that is a simple way to just cut an image or a person or an object out. And, you know, you have a green screen or like an, you can put anything behind her. So this is an easy way instead of having to rotoscope and mask her out and trying to find a way to like, you know, use the magic mask or whatever and sit and track and, and do all of that. You can just come in here and select her with the depth map and key her out that way. Another really cool uh, tool with this is if we add another node again, Alt S, and we want to connect the uh, alpha outputs together, we can add our own blur. So if we go lens blur, connect that up. All right, and now that we added that lens blur, we can see that it's blurring her out. We want it to blur the background. So what we want to do is come back to the depth map and we just hit invert. And just like that, our background is blurred. So on an image that was probably shot like on an F4 lens that doesn't have that much of that cinematic depth, we can just create our own with lens blur. I mean, the power of this depth map tool is absolutely incredible. And for color grading, it is going to set things apart. We can create color separation now in so many just amazing ways. So if we reset this, and we want to select the background, but let's say we want to add some warmth to that. Like again, we just add some warmth. I'm going to exaggerate it a little bit. Just like that, we want to keep her selected the way it is. And now, if we look at this, we have some color separation. For color grading, this is going to help you create color separation in a totally different way now. Now we can easily select backgrounds and easily select foregrounds and just tweak the color and tell a whole new story just through color grading with this tool. So the depth map is such an incredible, useful uh, tool to put in your tool belt in the sense of color grading, compositing, um, creating just different effects. I mean, you could legitimately add anything we wanted to this node right here and we would set that behind her. So let me know what you guys think of this depth map effect. I absolutely love it and I'm going to be using it in a ton of different ways. So let me know in the comments below how you guys are going to use it or if there is anything that y'all would like me to see cover on the new DaVinci Resolve 18 or if there's anything that you guys would like me to see, if there's anything that you guys would like me to apply this effect to and you guys can see how it's done, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys for, uh, you know, just always following along and, and making this channel what it is. I love each and every one of you guys and I'm going to catch you in the next video.